welcome to another episode of your channel my name is Evalon here and welcome to another video in this video we are going to count down the top 10 best games based on World War One. actually you know not that fancy rifles everything is simple the war was simple that time video but before we embark that I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and leave the like and leave your thought let's dive to the video number 10 I Sonzo, a highly underrated multiplayer FPS that fans need to check out. I Sonzo allows players to serve as soldiers who are operating on the Italian front during World War I. The game is pretty tactical and requires players to be smart about how they approach a particular target, having to rely on teamwork a lot to attain victory. The shooting is tight and satisfying with the game doing a great job of showing just how tense firefights used to be during World War One. Players who are interested in this period of history and want to check out a solid FPS in the process can check out Isonzo and enjoy everything this title has to offer. Number 9, 11, 11 Memories Retold Narrative heavy adventure games have become quite the rage in the modern times with 11 11 memories retold falling in the same category it takes a look at two soldiers from opposing sides who joined the war for their own reason 11 11 memories retold does a brilliant job of conveying a riveting story with its art style being a pretty great too technical issues do bug down the overall experience but this is a small piece of pay for an otherwise brilliant experience. Number 8. Amnesia the Bunker. Amnesia's series is one of the most popular horror games of all time, with players having to solve ingenious puzzles while traversing nightmarish areas as they are pounded by monsters every step of the way. The gameplay is tense and unforgiving, with players having to sneak around to try and avoid any threats while making their way through the game. The first two games are brilliant even if some people felt that the machine for pigs wasn't uh, the best title follow up the sheer brilliance of the dark descent thankfully many people consider the bunker to be a return to form for the series with the nightmarish enemies and nerve-wracking gameplay being refined to a T player who love horror games where they are pushed against ropes every single time with love what Amicia the bunker manages to achieve with its simple yet ingenious gameplay mechanics. Number 7 Rise of Flight the first great air war. Rise of Flight is a dogfighter game where players take control of World War One fighter planes and wage aerial assaults across the sky. It is a simulated flight game that respects the real world logic of dogfights from navigation, maneuvering, aerodynamics, combat, etc. Players can engage each other in large scale matches, capturing objectives and taking each other out of the sky. Players are immersed in the eyes of the true dogfight. In Rise of Flight, the game provides a great Pretty non arcade mechanics that fans of simulated realism flying games, especially, will surely love. Number 6 Darkest Hour, a heart of iron game. Darkest Hour follows world events from the Great War all the way to the cold. It is a real time strategy game where players govern, govern a country, making crucial strategies and decisions in the time of war. Players will overse all aspects of managing a country from foreign trade, troop deployments, military strategies, diplomatic affairs, alliance, technological innovations, and much more. Players can also capture territory later in the game. Because of the methodical pacing of the darkest hour, combat doesn't usually come until around 2 hours into the game. Number 5 Castlevania Anniversary Collection Castlevania really took off after the success of Symphony of the Night, which opened the doors for the Metrovania genre to become commonplace in the realm of gaming. Facets of the game design presence in Symphony of the Night have been replicated in many major titles ever since, showing just how influential this game really was. But there are hardcore fans who still have a soft spot for the classic Castlevania game, including Castlevania 
Bloodline. This title, along with seven other classic games, were released as a part of the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. Bloodlines itself focuses on World War One and how massacre during this time period were engineered by both Elizabeth Bartley and the Rodlot Suens, using the souls of the Vanquish to help Lord Dracula becoming part of the living world once again. Number 4. Toy Soldiers Toy Soldiers would be a result if the logic of Toy Story was applied to the detailed World War I diorama. Miniature soldiers and war units wage havoc against each other in a universe of relatively vast living room. It is a tower defense game where the player fights against incoming waves of enemies. Aside from automatically firing defense units, players' place can also be manually controlled, allowing the player a more active role in the game instead of just sitting back and watching his strategy unfold. Number 3. Valiant Hearts The Great War When doing a game on a great war, a puzzle adventure seems like a questionable decision. However, Valiant Hearts executed its beauty. Valiant Heart is an emotional, heart-wrenching journey that shines a light on the turmoils of war. It centers on the personal on the stories of four strangers of World War I, touching on their individual lives outside of just being another number. Every other game on this list sees troops as an expandable resource, just another death, just another spawn. By shedding a different light on war, Radiant Heart brings the players much closer to the battlefield than any other game ever. This 2D animated puzzle game has light, humorous gameplay, but its narrative along with the historical trivia the forever change perspective towards the events of 1914 through 19. Number 2. Battlefield 1 Regarded as one of the most inaccurate this depiction of World War 1, Battlefield 1 is one of the most fast-paced shooter based on the matter. The game borrows elements from war strategies such as trench warfare and integrates them into an action center shooter rather than simulated one. Matches are large scales, supporting up to 64 players along with the use of weaponized vehicles such as tanks and bomber planes among others. There are also different classes in the game, each with its own specialized use on the battle. So far from how actual war plays out, it's a nice blend to have you know with a modern FPS genre. The last one. Number one, The Last Express. The Last Express is an adventure game that never really got the attention it deserved upon release. However, the game slowly became the cult classic over time before an updated release was pushed on a modern harp. More and more people were able to experience this amazing adventure directed by the mastermind behind the iconic Prince of Persia series. Fans who want to play through a great adventure title set in the days just before the first world broke out should look no further than the last express and the bonus one last train home which we explain it completely in our other video you can you know dive in and we have a whole information about the last train home which is a survival based on you know train management of world war one this is our list if we missed anything write it down in the comment and you know thank you everyone for watching this video i really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like the video and actually leave your thoughts in the comments my name is Evelyn. i will see you in the next episode